So imagine within your heart is your light, your soul's fire. Now imagining connecting heart to heart with that crystal sun within the earth, that beautiful supportive energy, taking that breath in of that light of the earth, breathing it up through the feet into the heart and just allowing that light, that energy of the earth, that heart of the earth to just envelop you, every cell in between every cell and she is a powerful transformer and just ask for you to let go of anything. And she is happy to alchemize it for you to transform it. The second breath in this Trinity breath is we connect heart to heart to you as creator God, as soul, however you see and say this, breathing in that light of you into the heart and allowing that light of you to permeate every cell in between every cell and flow into your life. This third breath, you become the conduit, the hollow bone, as the shaman would say, the bridge between heaven and earth. So this third breath, you breathe in that energy of the crystal sun of the earth, up through you, sending it to you as creator God, as soul, and breathing in the light of you, down through you, and connecting it with the crystal sun of the earth. So you become the flow between heaven and earth. This is a powerful space because it also brings you from the head back into the sacred space of the heart. So while you're in the sacred space of the heart, we can imagine this infinity this infinity that comes from your heart and it goes down and connects to that crystal sun of the earth and it comes back up through the heart to you as soul to all that you are and that flows back down through the heart again and as you imagine that flow between heaven and earth and you in that central point Within that central point is this beautiful, brilliant, soft, white light. This field that's sparkly, there's a little bit of blue to it, how it presents to me. Again, see it, feel it, however it presents and feels to you. I'm going to call it a soft white light, but I see it with sparkles and blue. But the soft white light that comes through it's kind of like a working part of you. Again, when you work with your light, you can't direct it or have intended outcomes. It brings through the higher potentials and it clears and releases and brings to wisdom, to completion, any of the potentials in creation that no longer serve you. Again, we see miracles happen every moment that you just sit with this light. So as you are that infinity, that soft white light expands around you. Bring your awareness, you as the human, from the heart. Bring your heart-based aware, heart awareness to something in your life. Maybe it's something in your physical body. Maybe it's reoccurring patterns or thoughts, a hardship, an emotional ache or pain, or physical. Just bring in your attention and your awareness to that space. That is you simply asking your light to move into that space. And as your light moves into that space without you trying to fix or heal, you're just sharing those dark recesses with your light. Your light goes through and just changes those things. We've a witness some pretty amazing things. Everything from physical detox happening that you bring in your light and it changes it all. All that toxin that was being released in the body 
turns into something more beneficial to you. It turns into these sparkles is how I see it. And if you allow, it can go to the deepest recesses within your being, the darkest corners, and it can light it up with grace and ease and quickness. Instantly it can be. So kind of be in that space of, hmm, the, the word surrender may have some connotations, but it is a softening. And it is a surrender, but it's not giving away your power to anything, not even your light. It is allowing. So that is the best word we can use, is allowing. Allowing your light into those deepest, darkest recesses. And it begins to change them through all time, no matter where this issue came from, whatever lifetime or lifetimes of trauma, or maybe it's not even yours. Maybe it was handed down to you by ancestors. That is a majority of what we are is inherited, not truly ours. So just letting go of everything and allowing your light to transform it. All right, coming back to here again. So basically that meditation is basically how the energy runs within these infinities, not this particular piece with the circle around it, just the infinities themselves. <sighs> 